Imagine a car battery that can charge in just 8 minutes, last for millions of miles, and still hold almost all of its capacity as if it were brand new. It sounds like something from a science fiction movie, but that's exactly the kind of breakthrough Tesla is quietly developing behind the scenes. The company has managed to reinvent aluminum ion batteries, a type that many experts once dismissed as impractical. But this time, the numbers tell a different story. With a newly designed three-dimensional honeycomb structure and cells that are up to 80% thinner than before, the energy density has skyrocketed to 320 watt-hours per kilogram, enough to make many lithium-ion batteries look outdated. This boost in density, which once limited electric cars to just 250 or 300 miles per charge, now delivers an impressive 450 miles on a single charge, equal to over 720 kilometers. And all of this fits inside a 75 kilowatt hour pack without any increase in weight or size. This remarkable achievement was made possible by an engineering breakthrough. The 3D stacking of ultra thin cell layers, just 10 nanometers thick, allows for far better use of internal space. It's as if the inside of the battery has been completely rearranged to fit more energy into the same amount of room. For the first time, an aluminum based battery is able to compete directly with the best lithium options in the market. But the secret doesn't stop at structure alone. Graphene, already known as a powerful and conductive material, has been upgraded. A nanopolymer coating has been added to the anode, helping ions move more evenly across the surface. Before this improvement, only about 65% of the available area was used for energy storage. Now that number has jumped to 95%. In simpler terms, the battery has learned how to store energy in spaces that were previously unused, dramatically boosting its performance and efficiency. The charging speed is equally stunning. These new aluminum ion batteries can reach a full 100% charge in just 8 minutes, all without overheating or risking fire. Unlike lithium, aluminum doesn't catch fire or explode when it fails. That means far less risk in accidents and much more peace of mind for drivers. This combination of quick charging and thermal safety creates a driving experience very similar to what gasoline car owners are used to, stop, refuel, and go. The only difference is that the refueling is now done with a cable instead of a gas pump, and there's no smell of fuel involved. Durability is another area where this battery truly stands out. It can last up to 2.5 million miles while keeping 89% of its original capacity. To put that in perspective, it's like using the same battery through several generations of vehicles without ever needing a replacement. This longevity changes how people think about electric car maintenance. Owners can practically forget that the battery even exists, it just keeps running like a tireless heart, mile after mile. Until recently, the main problem with aluminum batteries was their low energy density compared to lithium. They couldn't deliver enough range and were largely ignored in the automotive world. But Tesla's new design has destroyed that barrier. With 320 watt-hours per kilogram, Tesla has not only met but surpassed what many experts believed was the technical limit of this technology, without increasing battery size, vehicle weight, or compromising safety. It's a game changer, and competitors know it. Reaching this level of performance required multiple innovations. The new cell architecture, smarter stacking techniques, improved anode coating, and even reduced empty spaces between cells all served one clear purpose, to do more with less. Tesla has packed more energy into nearly the same space using materials that are cheaper, safer, and more recyclable than lithium. And while skeptics question whether these batteries really work, Tesla's internal data shows that they're already in advanced testing stages. While aluminum technology pushes the limits of performance, sodium is surprising the world in a completely different way, by slashing costs. Tesla has managed to lower the price of sodium ion batteries to just $11 per kilowatt hour, a number that once seemed impossible even to the most optimistic analysts. This huge drop was achieved by moving away from expensive sodium mining, which used to cost around $500 per ton, and instead extracting sodium from recycled industrial waste, mainly from glass and chemical byproducts, at a fraction of the cost. This shift alone revolutionized the economics of battery production. But Tesla didn't stop there. Traditional high-temperature furnaces, which consumed enormous amounts of energy to refine sodium, have been replaced with a low-temperature extraction method using a special organometallic catalyst. 
This new process operates at only 200 degrees Celsius, using roughly 70% less energy than before. It not only makes the batteries cheaper to produce but also much more sustainable, less energy use, fewer emissions, and higher efficiency on a massive scale. This breakthrough led to something even industry experts thought was impossible. A 75 kilowatt hour pack can now be made for about $2,200, compared to the $11,400 cost of a typical lithium ion pack. That's a $10,000 price advantage, enough to completely reshape the electric car market. If the battery is the most expensive part of an EV, cutting its cost by 90% is like redesigning the whole car from scratch, but keeping the same performance. Even better, these cost savings came alongside improvements in performance. Sodium's biggest weakness used to be its low energy density, around 120 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to lithium's 250 to 300. But thanks to electrode stacking techniques borrowed from aluminum batteries, sodium's density has now reached 275 watt-hours per kilogram. That makes it nearly equal to lithium and even slightly ahead of BYD's well-known blade battery, which powers some Tesla Model Ys built in Germany. Besides being cheaper and denser, the new sodium battery is incredibly durable. It can handle 15,000 charge cycles, equivalent to decades of daily use, and still retain 90% of its capacity even in extreme temperatures like minus 30 degrees Celsius. That's a huge improvement over lithium, which can lose up to 40% of its efficiency in cold climates. This makes sodium perfect for delivery fleets, cold regions, or anywhere reliability matters most. This shift puts Tesla's competitors, especially BYD, in a tough position. Tesla now offers something cheaper, more efficient, and longer lasting. And with industrial testing already underway, mass production could start within months. Sodium batteries, once seen as low-performance backups, are now Tesla's secret weapon. Tesla's strategy was not to copy lithium but to play to sodium's strengths, abundance, stability, and flexibility. By using insights learned from aluminum batteries, Tesla created something completely new that works well and costs less. This makes sodium not just an alternative but a key part of the future electric ecosystem. With aluminum leading in performance and sodium dominating on cost, Tesla must now decide where each type fits best. This isn't just a technical decision, it's a strategic one. The first vehicles using these batteries will soon hit the roads, and they could disrupt the market in ways few imagined. Each battery serves a unique purpose. In Tesla's lineup, aluminum ion and sodium ion will complement each other. For current models like the Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla plans to keep using LFP batteries until at least 2027. The idea is simple. Maintain proven technology for existing lines while introducing new chemistries in fresh models to test them on a large scale without risking current production. A great example is the upcoming Tesla RoboVan, expected in 2027. Built for delivery and heavy-duty work, it needs to handle large loads, long hours, and extreme temperatures. Here, sodium-ion batteries are perfect, they're cheap, stable, and perform consistently in both hot and cold environments. Meanwhile, aluminum-ion batteries target a completely different group, long-distance, high-performance vehicles like the Tesla Semi. These vehicles need massive capacity, fast charging, and extreme reliability. That's where aluminum shines. But perhaps the most exciting step will come with the Tesla Model 2, scheduled for launch in late 2026. This will be the first car to offer both battery types. One version will feature aluminum ion for maximum range and performance, while the other will use sodium ion for affordability and everyday practicality. This dual option strategy not only broadens the Model 2's appeal but also lets Tesla see, in real world conditions, how both technologies perform side by side. By introducing these new chemistries in an entirely new car, Tesla avoids any risk to its existing lineup. If the feedback and performance are strong, the company can later apply these technologies across all models. It's a smart way to experiment safely while shaping the future of EV design. According to internal reports, aluminum battery production lines in Nevada and Texas could be ready within a year, capable of producing up to 80 gigawatt hours annually. Sodium batteries, already being tested at Giga Shanghai, are expected to enter mass production even earlier, 
with transfer to Giga Texas set for December 2025. That means the sodium-powered Model 2 might reach customers first. The difference in timing also reflects production complexity. Aluminum batteries require precise manufacturing and ultra-thin layering, while sodium is simpler and cheaper to scale. So while aluminum will likely power Tesla's high-end models, sodium will lead in the affordable segment, especially with the Model 2. This creates a clear distinction between entry-level and premium vehicles within Tesla's lineup. By doing this, Tesla not only positions its technologies smartly but also reinforces its image as an innovator that adapts to every market need. This flexible, multi-path approach could make the Model 2 a true industry disruptor and force other carmakers to play catch-up. With its battery technologies defined, Tesla moved on to the next challenge, mass production at record low costs. The company knew that innovation alone wasn't enough, affordability was key. That's where its partnership with Redwood Materials became essential. By recycling aluminum using up to 95% less energy than producing it from raw material, Tesla dramatically lowered both environmental impact and production costs. This pushed the cost of aluminum batteries down from $60 per kilowatt hour to just $36. That's a game-changing reduction. This means the aluminum battery for the Model 2 will cost around $2,200 to $2,400, a previously unthinkable price for a 450-mile performance pack. With these savings, Tesla plans to sell the aluminum version for about $19,000, placing it squarely in the premium compact category and challenging far pricier rivals. The sodium version, on the other hand, will be even cheaper. With a battery cost near $1,200, the base Model 2 will debut for under $17,000, targeting mass market buyers in the US and Asia. This isn't just a concept, production is set to begin in mid-2026 with an initial run of 500,000 units. Tesla is aiming for volume, and all signs point to success. The aluminum version focuses on range and charging speed, while the sodium model emphasizes efficiency and affordability. Both share the same frame and design but serve different purposes. This smart segmentation allows Tesla to optimize production and reach two distinct markets with one core platform. To meet the growing demand, Tesla is upgrading its gigafactories. Nevada and Texas are getting new dry electrode lines for aluminum cells, while Giga Shanghai leads sodium production testing in collaboration with Chinese material partners. By December 2025, Giga Texas will take over large-scale sodium production, with an expected capacity exceeding 100 gigawatt-hours annually. Tesla is also boosting automation. Its new chassis assembly system can build a car frame every 5 seconds, an incredible achievement that cuts assembly time dramatically. Combined with faster battery manufacturing and localized supply chains, the time from order to delivery will drop from months to just weeks. This is efficiency brought directly to customers. Tesla expects to start global Model 2 deliveries between Q2 and Q3 of 2026, with simultaneous launches in North America, Europe, and Asia. Such a worldwide rollout at launch is rare in the auto industry, but Tesla's dual chemistry plan and low-cost production make it possible. And all this is achieved without relying on scarce materials or fragile supply routes. Tesla is building an independent, sustainable, and scalable production model. In the end, what the company is really doing is rewriting the rules of how electric cars are designed, built, and priced. By merging new materials, smart engineering, and strategic planning, Tesla is creating a world where affordability and high performance finally go hand in hand.